Well, wasn't that a oh. nice, delightful little intro? Yeah, it was nice. Yeah, it's, it's a bit different. different. Yeah, different. Yeah. Thanks, Bog Mind Boy, for that fingle. Like um, on episode 76, would you believe, of Hat wow. Chat with your hosts, Chris Trott. Ross Hornby. And Alex Smith. Um, we're here today for the next 45 minutes or so to talk to you about a couple of ideas we might have oh, yeah. and yeah. some of the just the Good hilarious pitching. crazy things that may or may not oh, be happening seminar. in the world yeah. okay uh yeah so settle in for this tedx keep your eyes on the road if you're driving um and, actually close uh, them and then open them again oh, no, close, okay. them. close them longer coward no, close them, them till i say <laughs> open them again coward. <laughs> open them again oh my god don't don't take any just in case they were us. still playing the game yeah. Oh, so what were they listening to before they crashed? Well, uh, I don't know, some, some thing called Hat Chat? What's Let's that? Let's rewind it a little bit. Oh. Rewind a bit. Oh. They <laughs> this is actually... attention to it, like they have no kind of agency. This is relevant to something I read this morning about um, a change in the law in the UK so that um, interacting with your phone mm. whilst driving is going to become like illegal under like safe car driving rules. So before it was like you cannot call and you cannot text as far as i'm aware whilst driving um but beyond that interacting with your phone in other ways wasn't actually prohibited um under any law so but, the, but there is an exception in that if you're using um contactless payment you you can you can use your phone so oh, it basically so allows really people to like involved. drive throughs <laughs> yeah, yeah. Drive -throughs are allowed to touch your phone it's, I um, thought it was basically if you are seen to be touching anything like on your dash or like mm. on a front console it's considered that your attention is off the road so obviously this is a very specific niche kind of thing that mm -hmm. you you have to be seen doing it right or reported doing it um, yeah people are even using their phones um not hands free anymore then mm -hmm. That's a big no-no. But yeah, no, I thought that was really legal, but okay. So it's official. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. I, it's like you say, it's, 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 kind yeah. of, it's kind of common sense-y. I just think that some people think that they might get caught out by like, yeah, sometimes I literally will hit a different route on my sat-nav when it suggests like, there's a faster route. So I'll just be like, yeah, okay. Right. You know, is is I guess people are worried that they might get caught out for that. But I think you're right. Yeah. I think that it probably won't be enforced. Or, it, think, or think... it's something that's like not yeah. enforceable like think, policing has got like no staff at all now there, that, there's like a yeah. staffing crisis in the uk police if they start putting funding into getting people to catch people fiddling with a phone whilst yeah. driving it feels a little bit disproportionate i don't imagine that's the issue though it's more of a case of like if we tell people at least they're aware you know yeah i think that's like, yeah yeah, that, be that, cautious. yeah. So you're like okay yeah look, is it clear on the yeah. road do i have a little a couple of seconds to just press it or mm -hmm. not even that just to press a button mm -hmm. um then sure but i think yeah it's it's advisable not to get distracted because yeah it is a big distraction sometimes if you're like even if it's a sat nav you're like kind of a bit like oh, wait is it that left is it oh fuck mm -hmm. so yeah 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 you're safe. right well, anyway no well, that's, uh, i think that's also listening to us fairly rounded up um i just thought Updating i'd segue the highway code uh, yeah. yes christopher what is the first rule of the highway code christopher uh open your eyes <laughs> That's not the first rule of the highway code. Don't masturbate whilst driving. These are all good answers, but not question. Keep both Miley. hands on the wheel. I know someone who did that. That's nuts. Masturbate whilst driving. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they told me once and they just finished in a pile of receipts that they had in the side. <laughs> I, was like, I, was like, I was like, how did you even, what? <laughs> Why? Like on the, oh, whilst you were driving, you said, yeah, there's a lot of traffic. What do you mean there's a lot of traffic? That means, just, just traffic. In a state that means that people are like going by just like yeah. that guy is definitely wanking. Yeah. He's a slow Slime. moving car. Just yeah, jerking it. A car. Yeah. It's like, come on. It wasn't, I don't think the car, was, the car was very high off the ground either. So a bus mm. would have had a real life. <laughs> and um, all its passengers. Yeah. yeah. I was like, Jesus, what? what you, went all the, you went all the way with it as well. Was it an yeah, open spot? Yeah, convertible. In the corner. Um, it, was, <laughs> it was a motorbike. <laughs> no, I think it was... Um, like a Honda Civic or something. Um, wow, yeah. don't They're lump Honda Civics in there. And also, yeah. that is a crime. So, Masturbating yeah. in a car. Well, it's public. It's public exposure. Public if, indecency. If kids are on that bus driving past, or even the lorry drivers. Like, well, they shouldn't be driving, Ross. Yeah, but you could argue that you're inside right. your own car, and you're not like. I think that inside your own car wouldn't be public indecency. Well, That's they do dog stop doggers. Illegal. They you really do hate can, doggers. Like, the, there are windows on these fuckers. 
I think it's you're in public, you are seen. Like, yeah. If, if you're in your own window in your house, and you're, but then if you are stood at the window jacking it, is there is there a limit there? Because if you're on a shop, let's say you're on a high street. That's what I was going to say. Nice little flat on a high street, big windows. Yeah. Uh, you just high like, street, well, obviously, like, you, that's public place. Target off. What if you owned a restaurant and you live above it and you're masturbating yeah. furiously outside the window of this restaurant, yeah. which has got you know, a lot of foot traffic? Just... <laughs> like, yeah. hand on the window. And the other... <laughs> Hand on the window, yeah. Hand on the window, pain. It's getting well, it's like sweaty. that's private Kinda property like in the flat above, but you're essentially Probably doing it in front of yeah. a public street. I think you get done for that. I, f- I find it strange out. that you can like say and do and get away with all sorts of heinous shit in life, you know, be it through, you know, I know it's not freedom of speech is not necessarily a law enshrined like it is in the US and the UK, but like democracy is meant to ensure that right so you meant you can say all sorts of stupid shit you can trick people into stupid harmful things you can make people racist you can make people anti-vax you can lie you can cheat you can do all these things but you can't have sex in a car <laughs> like like it just feels so disproportionate the and nature small. of Western yeah exactly culture. Yeah. And it's, it's just stupid. It's, it's just like... Because, I mean, if everyone... Was, <laughs> the thing is, this is the thing. Like, if, if it was allowed, like, and it was just kind of, like, common, commonly happening around, I, I guess it, people would get used to it and numb to the idea. Mm. And then people are just shagging in the streets, just <laughs> fucking against lampposts, and just like, yeah, that's, that's legal. Perfectly fine. Have a good one, you'll say, <laughs> as you walk past. I mean, I think, I think there's... I think the inner car, for me, is... It's the same as, like, when a person's drive driving in down the middle of the you know down the middle of the city or the town or whatever they've got their windows up they're listening to music but they haven't got it offensively loud sure. loud enough that you could maybe hear it through you know the window slightly if you were right next to the vehicle but like i feel like there's there's a private space right you don't get mad at that person because you're like when you're a person's in their car they listen to the music that they like you know they, they do what they want in that space it's kind of like their domain they yeah, have control the, over it the sound stops inside the car doesn't it yeah, to an, yeah, exactly. And, and I think as I mean, not, not always, but I mean, what I'm saying is there's there's like a there's a domain, there's an area of a person's there's, there's privacy ultimately to a car because a yeah. person respects that that's a private space. People don't just jump in next to somebody, you know, in a car. But all right. You know, they, they understand that that is a space owned and controlled by a person. Um, and they accept that choices will be made within that space, i.e. music choice. Um you know, based on that person's wants. So I'm just mm. saying that it's the same. Th- it is, in a way, a private space, and yeah. therefore they're not exhibiting themselves, and they're not, yeah. you know, perhaps trying to get other people engaged in what they're doing. So well, I don't feel what, that really is gonna... what's getting them off is the fact that someone might see them. Um, also like, oh, so like, so like, you know, you'd have to prove that. Them. I don't think it should this, be presumed. This guy's jerking. It looks up and smiles at the. There we go. Well, then that is that shows that he's trying to entice <laughs> others. <laughs> He's trying to entice others. So absolutely. But if you can't prove that he's trying to entice others... If he um, winds his window down, do do the rules change? You could do, yeah. You've got to prove intent that they're they're enticing others to engage in acts that they may not have thought of doing before or not within their own private space. I don't know. If it's uh, an RV with an extending canopy and you're banging under the canopy... Yeah. Then you're outside. The canopy, you're outside, yeah. What if the you're canopy outside. has like fabric, uh, plastic walls? Like a, like yeah, a camping, like a tent. Then, I think then they are they the see through? But they yeah. what can you see? Oh, are they enticing window. anyone else to join? Yeah. Are they forcing you can anyone see to see through the like the fly mesh? Them going at it hardcore. <laughs> well, then no, that's not acceptable because they haven't taken appropriate steps to you know like if it's just a fly mesh and it's see through and they're just shagging outdoors in front of people, then that's not okay. But if there's reasonable steps to conceal their lewd axe trot, it should be okay, and other people should mind their own damn business. What if the only you know, in, in Amsterdam, person? for example, a lot of the houses have very, very big windows. There's a cultural observation that most people observe, which is don't look in the giant windows and stare at people in their own homes. People want to be able to open their windows and allow light and the scenery to come in without other people just looking straight at them and going, what are you doing, like fish tank? You know, and that's just accepted. Maybe people right. should observe that and I'll let people bang in their cars. I I don't really understand banging in cars as a tall man. you got a real bee in your bonnet about it's banging in cars. It's an uncomfortable... Um, I have a bee in my bonnet about anything though, that doesn't actually make fucking sense. Um, and I... Sense. Sense fucking well, this, sense. Exactly. Put that on my poster. Extremely <laughs> I mean, nicely. I was, 
okay. into yeah. our first hypothetical, uh, oh, nice. yeah, which yeah, is yeah. actually about the law, would you believe? Oh. And right. Wow. Well, there we go. The question is, is it ever okay to break the law? And why and when is that appropriate? Uh, I think back oh. in the cards. <laughs> I think, <laughs> no. wow, that's so bizarrely appropriate. Yeah. yeah. But that's, uh, yeah. I think it, it, if you're trying to save someone's life, then I think it's appropriate. So, for example, when it comes to self defense, which is obviously a very tricky situation, uh, and obviously it's a big issue in America because everyone's got a gun. Um, and so you could literally kill someone. It's not a case of just self defense. It's, mm-hmm. You're going to have to murder someone to, if they're murdering someone else. Um, not always, sure, but a lot of the time. Um, I think that if you had a blunt object and some, you're seeing someone like about to beat someone up in a hard, like a big way, you need to stop them somehow. <clears throat> so you're committing a crime by hitting someone, right, to a degree. Mm-hmm. So that is where I think maybe it's okay. Um, what about the opposite? If, if you're what? You're going to kill someone. someone. Euthanasia. Oh, right. Okay. Well, so if someone's in pa- extreme pain, they've been in pain for a long time and they think that that's... I think, I think you should have the right to choose, personally. I don't think. It's, I don't think. It's, who think gets that decision? Well, this is this is the thing because obviously it, it really depends on timing and obviously the illness itself. I think I should have the final say. You think you should have the final say <laughs> for, everyone. Anyone, <laughs> for everyone? For everyone, you I want think it should go good. through me. Okay, right. <laughs> um, but I mean, in general, yeah, I think if you do have an illness and stuff, and you, uh, yeah, like you say, some people don't have agency anymore. So I think it's 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 really impossible to tell. And it's a very not tricky, sound of mind, very difficult situation. Yeah, and I, th- I feel like there needs to be yeah more rights in that situation. But um, that's a very deep conversation. Um, it's it's I have the no thing. real knowledge of uh, it can go really this deep. question oh. could go crazy. I mean, is it ever okay to break the law? Yes. Why and when is almost an endless list. Um, what about the, like the law? Is just food. <laughs> you're really hungry it. though. Stolen <laughs> bread. <laughs> From yeah, marketplace. but your little monkey keeps like taking bits of the bread off. Is this Aladdin? Like, this is Aladdin. This might be Aladdin. This is Aladdin. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> I mean, Aladdin maybe. Story. What if, for example, you're really hungry and you've got no money to pay for it, and some asshole keeps ringing these giant bells, um, and and you're just trying to meet this really hot chick that's way out of your league, and one of your eyes is, I think, bigger than the other. Um, you've got a hunchback. You've got a hunchback. Got a hunchback. Yeah. Hunchback. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, was he that, in that situation? I don't remember the hunchback. I don't, I don't even remember was the film either. It freaked me out a bit. Or was he being fed by the church? Uh, well, I don't know. Thank they, they do that, don't they? Sanctuary! Sanctuary! <laughs> that's all uh, I, remember much. I think I saw that when I was a kid. I don't think I've seen yeah. it since. Right, so, so laws are meant to be, I think, a, a reflection of culture, right? So laws move based on and are created. Uh, I mean, there's some like very base, like social human structure ones that like are required for humans to be able to like coexist, you know, things like don't mm-hmm. kill each other. Um, typically what I guess the sins and things like that, you know, again, the idea of sins and in, in religion and stuff is just again a reflection of social requirements for human beings to be able to work together. Larger stuff is based on consensus, like cultural consensus of like how a country currently feels about a certain thing. You know, so things like same-sex marriage and abortion and things like that um, tend to come from cultural movements or influenced by cultural movements when the majority of a population of a particular country believes something is Wait, the way it should be. Wasn't at the forefront of. Equality. Religion. A religion is a is an earlier form of yeah, of sure. proper bureaucratic law <laughs> control, essentially, isn't it? Like religion is control. Yeah. Re- religion was also used as a um, a functioning part of the state because people like churches and stuff would maintain records and stuff. So people, clergymen would often be perhaps only the only people that could read and write in a town or a village. So they would then record births, deaths. They would they would. Um, help the state to manage areas. So there was also more of a role for the church typically back in the day, in England at least. Nowadays, it's much more just the religious focus, but because that's been taken over by councils through tax because we have more complicated systems. But anyway, yeah, law should be reviewed, I think, um, as culture shifts and changes, right? So people now, for example, if you take weed in the UK, um, I think it's something around 60% of of the UK population population would be in favor of legalizing recreational weed. I think Germany's working towards that, right? 
recently it's just been announced yeah so so you know there's but the thing is there's no cultural perhaps push or cultural intention right now or need for it to happen um you know like people if asked be like yeah sure i don't really see the problem but they're not going and voting and going hey i want legal weed you know they're not saying that so eventually if, if you instead reviewed for example yeah like um drug criminal criminal drug law you you would look at it and perhaps go yeah this this does this does need some reform because it's clearly not and really also, working there's also classification issues because isn't it a class yeah. b yeah yeah um uh, yeah it is a class b now that seems yeah, yeah, quite yeah. High, doesn't it's it, been, it was it a c then they moved up to a b again yeah, yeah. The, the other <laughs> Joke. quite high <laughs> yeah um, but yeah ultimately like there's also little control over what's actually on the streets right so yeah yeah they, th but this is this has been you know the issue with drug laws in general like yeah uh, because there's no um legal measure of it you have to just go with whatever's on the street which can be filthy filthy mm -hmm. dirty drugs whereas they could have um it properly taxed paid for regulated in a, in a sensible way like they are doing in the states and mm -hmm. a place like amsterdam and whatever yeah and yeah it could be safer so you could be looking after your people a bit better mm -hmm. and not having them have the filthy skunk on the streets <laughs> and have a bit more exactly of the options that you have in america which are just so willy wonka's factory of joy <laughs> there's so much to choose from over there that you can literally just be like okay well and it's all been regulated officially Apparently, there's still a lot of loopholes they have to jump through to make it all work properly. It's crazy what they have to um, do. Yeah. And the, mm -hmm. the startup costs are insanely higher than in, like any brewery or anything. But ultimately, they're you know making a step towards the right direction and for something that's not anywhere near as dangerous as something like alcohol mm -hmm. as well. So yeah, yeah, like reform for these things is kind of needed, and it's just it feels like it's yeah pushed and pushed to the back, even mm -hmm. though politicians profit from from the same thing. Like Theresa May's fucking husband yeah one of them and his weed farms yeah uh, are these hemp farms that are for cannabis no weed oil? as well like a medic because they provide medical marijuana yeah. to um europe Guys but, yeah it, essentially it, it's not legal here so that's exactly bollocks you have to get a license to make it medically and then you export it for sale and consumption as well although medical weed is actually allowed in the country now in our country yeah. um but uh essentially in summary should you ever break the law is it ever okay to break the law where why and when mm. i think really as an individual if you feel comfortable and if you feel that you're informed enough choose which laws you think are you believe in frankly so i mean like, oh, oh, the intent the, the, there's, there's, the, there's a there's a benefit there's a cost benefit thing, to right? there's there's a cost benefit to everything right there's, there's a cost benefit like you know by breaking a law what are you potentially risking so you know are you risking prison you know are you risking um hurting someone are you risking you know a lot a lot of things versus um what you're actually getting from going against the the norm right because plenty of people go against the norm think about when you drive on a dual carriageway in the uk i would say 70 percent, 75 percent of people will drive at 80 miles an hour on a motorway uh you know because everybody Pussies. around them everybody <laughs> around them is making the judgment that they're all comfortable breaking yeah. the law by 10 miles an hour because none of them will be judged for that. You know, that none of them will be um, punished for that. The same in Bristol, right? People wander around smoking weed because they've made the judgment that the police aren't likely to enforce anything. And if they do, what happens yeah. isn't particularly bad. You get, you know, a warning essentially um, bigger, most of the time. Exactly. And Bristol and Avon police have said in the past that they don't enforce it very much because exactly they already have very little staff due to underfunding and they have bigger fish to fry. Um, so, you know, and the misdemeanors are... come from weed. Yeah. Well, yeah, I think that's all you can get, really. Um, I, know, but... I ultimately yeah, put this question in, right? And we haven't actually mm -hmm. touched on it. We went straight to drugs. But say, for yeah. example, cop are throwing out an eight pack of kingsville crumpets mm -hmm. and they're like that's just waste uh, i want that that's waste that's waste food i want the kingsville mm -hmm. eight pack of crumpets i'm taking that that's breaking the law yeah, yeah. why is well, it have they thrown illegal? out already or is it in the store and it's exactly like no it's out, they out already i feel like obviously they, they it's their i guess if it's their right to prosecute if they want to but i feel like nine times out of ten they wouldn't give a shit right most like yeah. supermarkets throw away uh, oh, and yeah. 
don't let the staff use any of that stuff. Oh, really? At all. That's weird. Yeah. Because they're worried about it encouraging an yeah. atmosphere of... Well, they're all going to wait until the waste. end of the day and then... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, I mean, ultimately, I think it's one of these situations where it, it, it does more harm to have this waste and don't let anyone do anything culture yeah. than it does to be like, you know what? Yeah, if you work at Morrison's and there are some shit left over the day, we want to reward you and say, yeah, have it. Take it home with you. You know, like you, you work here. I wish we trust you and we're sure that you wouldn't waste when you when you shouldn't because we're in this together, you know, and yeah. appeal to people that way. But none of these companies will trust their employees. They will never, they're, they're more likely go, no, 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 we can't encourage some sort of culture of that. And, and that's ultimately breaks consumerism. <laughs> harmful. Yeah, so it is bullshit. But yeah, essentially, the reason that those things don't change fast enough, those laws about waste and throwing things away and all that sort of shit, is because we have a very, very slow legislative system in the UK, especially. Like, our laws don't change very quickly. It's, yeah, whatever. But yeah, it's... Exactly. So you've got to think, right, what laws make sense to me? What laws do I think would actually be enforced upon me? Um, because you can probably make a more nuanced judgment, I think, than laws that may have been created 50 years ago. I mean, I'm still, you know, I'm not saying go out and break laws, but I am saying that you've only got one life. Maybe interpret, just don't harm Did other people, obviously. It? I think you just yellow. I mean, it. It, I, I, I would obviously, I'm you know in this in this mindset it's, it's very nuanced isn't it but like oh, carjacking Something no like car, yeah i mean no i, I don't think so car, but it looks like i, I think that's that. at someone's expense yeah usually mm -hmm. but if it's yeah like exactly I've, I've, I've never harm another person that's not right. okay you know that's because that's what people this is ultimately right it's like i think a lot of people get fixated on the idea of what is legal and being what is right <clears throat> um and and that those things are actually entirely separate right so like you know so people think like oh that's against the law that's bad or we can't do that it's illegal or like this is the way things are because yeah. of this law and it's like no the no the consequences no. of your actions on this will affect other people on down the line in some mm. way that's why it may be illegal i guess everything has a but also way, because you think, well, well, but what i'm saying is yourself if you're taking drugs or whatever like that's on you if you're if you're pushing them then yeah, that's that's a, mm -hmm. a different step, isn't it? Yeah. Um, whereas if you're only doing things that affect yourself, but obviously, like we were talking about, you know, speeding or whatever, like that could affect someone else's life technically. So that's why mm -hmm. it's it is a contentious issue. You know, if someone mm -hmm. drinks drives, and you're like, wow, you think you're all right on on the roads with a couple of drinks, you're fine. But the moment they run down some kids, that's a fucking different story, right? Mm -hmm. and Absolutely, and and, you know, and it's measurable. The delay that you get from drinking a few pints is measurable. Like yeah. you know, as in your reactions. Yeah, exactly. Your actions have increased the mm -hmm. chance of a person dying. But what I'm saying is that's not really any different to driving a bit too fast on the road. Yeah, like you know, yeah. you, but because everyone makes that decision, because you're essentially can't see the wood for the trees, mm -hmm. then it's one of these things that you can get away with, and you know you can get away with. You know, yeah. like but other things not so much but no what no what i was saying is like that it's important to break this distinction between the idea of something being enshrined in law and it being morally right or because something is not enshrined in law it is not morally right or it is not morally wrong like laws are made by people they are often people with certain influences upon them um and they're made by a certain type of person as well. So, like, you need to bear that in mind. Like, the laws are designed to maintain society. They're not necessarily designed to benefit you individually um, as well. I mean, yeah, fuck. But anyway, this we should probably get back to the funny, I guess. Um, yes, I'm taking those Krispy Kremes. Um, if they're out there and they're on the skip, I'm, they're yeah. mine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've never done that. Uh, anyway, yeah. Yeah. now's an option for you all to make that hard choice in your life as to whether you should be a patron or not because you're going to get an oh, ad God. if you don't. <laughs> Here we go. Um, anyway, welcome back. Um, yep. Did you get the ad or not? Did you make the right choice? That's up to you, really. But thanks. I didn't get one yesterday, earlier on. I listened didn't to you? last week just to make sure it was all good uh, the other day and didn't get one. Sometimes you don't get one. I was lucky. That's okay. Yeah, you can be the lucky Speak one. Speaking of last week, though, Ross didn't bring this up, and yeah. I was like, "That sounds like a funny thing to briefly mention." We went to a beagle meet, didn't you? A beagle meetup. Did with they have? Meet did they try to give it a funny name? Can you think of a pun? No, I don't think they came up with a name for it. I bumped. Into, I keep bumping into someone who's got a beagle as well, and they right. they arranged it, and they yeah. managed to get fifty odd beagles uh, in one place up Ashton Court. It was yeah. amazing. Beagles everywhere. 
so many it was beagles. incredible <laughs> it was such a, an amazing experience and so they, they do move in herds was yeah, there a some of them herds? were so fucking like excited and like running around like nipping at each other's ears and stuff did you Murphy take any photos of all of them uh i took a yeah i took a few photos of of them in groups i want to see the herds. crowd if you can um let's see if was there one where you're on the floor and they're all jumping over you like puppies no, but no, because, no, because they're all really heavy it fucking hurts i think some people were cautious about um letting their dog completely off um you worry that you murphy might go around and impregnate a few of them well i mean there's that enough. risk he still got his bowels um <laughs> he's got, got his torpedoes <laughs> i've kind of got like Oh, it's not very clear. So it's not Come so on, focus. Is it on autofocus? Oh, yeah, there we go. So there's like kind of like there's Murphy in the middle there. If, you, if you're able to watch this, um, you'll be able to. There's a big oh, field. Was he like, there's you a, there's brought a me to my people? Beagle there, sniffing another beagle's dog. There's loads of other beagles around there. So, uh, do, do they think they're point. on a hunt? Um, well, this is, it, it felt like a hunt. <laughs> it was basically, yeah, just a load of them together all sniffing each other's asses. And uh, wow. Murphy ran off at one point um, into a thicket of trees. I thought he'd go out the other side and then mm. uh, couldn't find him. And then uh, a different dog fun. came out and you just went this one. And I was like, oh, is that my one? That's a beagle. That's not my one. That'll do. You've home alone him. But then I managed to find him. I've got a little tracking device on him. Little fucker can't get nice. away from me. Did he stuck? Is it a suppository? Yeah. So I mean, <laughs> yes, yeah, suppository. Got to pop it back in every day. Holy got shit. to recharge pop it by a USD. Loop. There it is. Nice one. <laughs> Capsule back in. Lovely. <laughs> but, um, he hates this. Probably bit. shouldn't talk about leaky buttholes. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, Mochi uh, was leaking discharge <laughs> everywhere, and they had to take it to oh, the vet discharge to fluids, get no. expressed. I mean, it's fine for me. Uh, I, yeah, of course. I endured it. That. What does the <sighs> smell like, though? Describe that to everyone. Oh, you can imagine. It's pretty rancid. Uh, Ooh, leaky. It's the leaky. word leaky, I think. Leaky in fluids. Like fluids. uncontrolled, just yeah. falling out. Yeah, pretty gross. Just, you've got to make sure you drink <laughs> enough Was it on a fur? But not those kind of fluids. It's surprising how much fur she has and how little shit gets in there. I that think is nuts, because just... she's like a little pillow, like a fluffy yeah. like cloud-like pillow. We, we like... trim around the back anyway yeah, she... to like reduce... Was it projectile? Oh, you do? Okay. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's pretty nasty. Um, um, it's pretty nasty. What do they do? But... Put like a cork in it? <laughs> well, I dropped off Mochi. I didn't actually see the process. Nice, so that's good. I'm it's sure just a they... tube. It's a tube, and they try and judge the length of tube they yeah. need. And one ends this, and then just the other end. Siphon. Got to reach the top. Got to choose. Siphon ourselves. You got to hope you chose chosen enough pipe oh, no, so no. it doesn't <laughs> hit your mouth. <laughs> That's a short end. That's a short end. That's the cut off you used, you son of a bitch. You told me they went for a shit oh. beforehand. <laughs> <laughs> I've got fluids all in my mouth. Oh my god, Not Christ! Fluid. I feel like I've just eaten a burnt shepherd's pie. Mm. <laughs> 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 so yeah, that was, um, I would probably be nice in comparison. <laughs> no funny Japanese spits me ups, just leaky no, ass. No. Uh, <laughs> Have you looked into a spits me up, or maybe even just sneak her into a Pomeranian meet up? Yeah, yeah I reckon I, I could right. sneak they her like into it. one of those. Yeah, I don't know always... if there are many dog meet ups. That's an interesting question because I don't know if that's even a. I don't this think was so. just a, I've a never heard of one. Just, I go like, to oh, lizard meet ups Sunday, near constantly. Yeah. Lizard meet ups. Yeah. I was at two this morning. And they just what? I go with all of them. Jimmy like, holds their lizards. One of them up here. Oh, he's going to jump off. He's going to jump off. Don't show him uh, food. Oh, oh. Don't, Don't show him those grubs. He really You're not wearing red nail varnish, are you? <laughs> he's freezing. I've got a little hot pocket. He's it's got one of those hand warmers taped around him. <laughs> do you ever worry about your animals being bored? Yes. Like, as in just like, oh, what, yeah. what are you doing all day? Like, what, yeah. what do you want to do? I mean, but, then, but I guess their, their reference of time is so much different than ours. I think yeah, the smarter the dog, the more aware of time they are. And like, think so. you can get behavioral like, issues from not stimulating your dog. Um, well, they get scheduled in the sense that they, you know, like walking times, feeding times, um, stuff like that. So that, I guess, they attune to. But Well, I had Cocker Spaniels, which were very much underwalked, underutilized exercise wise, oh. which they have a high exercise requirement. Yeah. And oh, they God, developed yeah. behavioral issues because they got bored and they just started yeah. doing things to like gain attention. Uh, like breaking stuff or being yeah. possessive of things and uh, being unnecessarily aggressive and like hostile on backed into a corner, that sort of thing. So mm. I think they definitely can get bored. I think the like dumber the animal, <laughs> the easier it is to like just have a chill dog like Mochi. 
Mochi's very chill. And there's not a lot of thoughts going on in her brain. Uh, I really yeah. try and think, like, is she really thinking right now? And I'm, and then I realize that she's just, like, still processing the command I gave her, like, five minutes ago. Yeah. <laughs> Staring up at you with a <laughs> smile on her face. Uh, and then she does it. And it's like, what happened in that space of where I said, like, come on then, come up. Up on the sofa, and she just stares at you for like thirty seconds, like, oh yeah, yeah. fuck, and then jumps on the <laughs> sofa. <laughs> fuck yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, it's like suddenly really exciting. Yeah. Uh, I don't and know. Then, do you get? Do you gauge that from your lizards? Do they have facial expressions that you could ever read, or is it just like, oh, this tongue moved slightly different today? You blinked twice. <laughs> Dorito. Uh, you once, no, 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 they do. They they are strange. They are strange. They're definitely not like fish, you know. Like oh. they're they're somewhere between a bird and a fish. I always yeah. think. Um, a bish. but like a bish or a third. Um, <laughs> no, the bigger they are, I think the smarter they are with lizards. So my bearded dragon is definitely the one I worry most about. Um, because she's do they try to escape? Pretty smart. Yeah, they didn't, they're not trying to escape. She just likes a bit of variety. And, and I've worked out that she doesn't like pooing in her tank. Oh. Um, and so before she poos, she desperately tries to get out of the tank. So she glass surfs nice, a lot. Yeah. And I mean, all I can do is like run her up. Well, because if I put her down, like take her out and let her have a run around, which I do because I like her to have a run around and see stuff. Mm -hmm. Um she won't poo straight away. So it's not like I can put her down on a poo pad or something like that. Good. She'll run around like. for a bit and then I'll find it like on the carpet somewhere or like underneath the TV. And it's really gross poo. But we, you know, it's not great. Um, I don't think so, it's going to be anywhere near as gross as the fluids out of Mochi's ass. And maybe and not. Mochi's regular poos are pretty fucking rough. Yeah, exactly. I mean, then I probably... still get to somewhat control where that happens though. Hmm. Bearded, bearded dragon poo oh, is I, feel I, like I would say get 90 percent as bad as dog poo like i'd rather not handle dog poo but bearded dragon poo is horrifically smelly it is really? it's like pig oh, wow. shit it's like because oh, they're omnivorous and cat shit it's well. really stinky so really you bad. and it's often mm. dribbly as well so anyway yeah delicious um yeah, so the bearded dragon, I can tell, needs stimulation. Randy is easy as hell. He's a little leper gecko. He just wanders about, sometimes gets excited. I don't know why. Then he will not be interested. I don't know why. Yeah. Um, and I just constantly worry about my chameleon dying because it's really fragile. crazy and fragile. And, Do you think um, you'd want to read their minds? No, no. It's why... I don't. I feel like I'd feel worse because it's like, well, now I have to like really communicate with them. Yeah. And, like in a but in a bigger way. Like, it's either yeah. gonna be. If they, have, if they have real demands, I, yeah. I may have to go through with those demands. Mm -hmm. might, and feel, I feel guilty like if I don't. If I can't. It's gonna be disappointing or upsetting, and I don't think yeah. there's gonna be like an in between. You're just gonna realize things about your I dog you that you didn't want to know. I hate you. Yeah. Or they're just gonna oh. be like very basal like survival instinct and that's it yeah. like no emotional connection there and I, i'm worried that it's either one of those two and i really? just rather you know pour all my uh human humanity onto the dog form a fake personality with them and yeah. live naively in that life <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. absolutely fine um, um but there, there's a part of me that wants to hear him talk just to hear what his voice hello Ross. i think he came from the father ukraine. No, one of his one of his his parents came from the ukraine would he have a Ukrainian accent? Is the real question. I don't think he would. No, he was brought up here, so he might have a Bristolian accent. Great, great, me. Let's go for a walk, mate. I'm hungry. <laughs> mate, let's hungry. let's go find uh, a little hole to poo in. I want to push my it's poo smaller, in. Smaller, the better. That hole again. I'm going to go right down it again. Perfect aim. You're really good at it. You are really good at that. I had a what thought. About that tree, though. I had a thought, Smith, when you were talking about taking your lizard out and showing mm -hmm. the sights, which I assume is your flat. Uh, have you thought <laughs> <laughs> it about creating dioramas <laughs> like a Wild oh, wow. West-like street oh, amazing. with a saloon that you can walk around in? Like It's like going on holiday. You can take him anywhere. You can theme, theme him up. My, they wouldn't care about that. But it's so, more about that. I no, mean... that's more about you. It's more about Think you. Think of the Instagram. Yeah. Well, I'm, you know what I'm like with making things with my. I'm not good at making things from cardboard <laughs> and shit. I just am not. <laughs> It'll come out. Attempt. It'd be a mess. You can make a lizard castle. Lego house. Lego yeah. House. Yeah. 
she wouldn't care. She just would not care about what she's climbing over. Like she just doesn't. Um, this is I 1889. <laughs> Come yeah, on. Yeah, do you not realize Come I've on. been making working lever action rifles <laughs> one sixteenth the scale? You can oh, fire them. it. Stop it's licking it. Playing piano in the corner. <laughs> God damn it! There's a hon it's the honky tonking over there. <laughs> it's a fully working the honky tonk. Play along. Now, there are some funny like it's Instagram accounts of in people making like costumes for their bearded dragons and stuff. Yeah. But they're fun. No bearded dragons are lovely. They're so like she's never even snapped at me once. Like they're just they're ridiculously peaceful creatures, really. Apart from when they need a shit. Um, but oh. should we just answer? Should oh. we do the second sure, hypothetical? Yeah. No? Oh, yeah, throw it out. oh so if you want to. Done? I haven't read it. What is it? Uh, the or, second or we can one. do some funny news. Oh, oh, well, yeah, we, uh, we can, we can whiz through this tease. question. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, why are people told to respect the dead? Uh, I think it's more of a... Um, we respect each, We should respect people in general, right? Yes. So if someone has, has died, um, then respect them. But if they were a shitty person, I don't think they deserve any extra respect. Um, well, they're dead now. You know, they're not going to like, be offended. Think of, think of, yeah, you know, if they're a criminal or a horrific person. I think you're general, more offending the person. Horrible atrocities. That's... I'm not going to show them any more respect just because they died. I think it's less I about... Think you... I won't mention them again. It's less about the dead person and more about the person that's still attached to that person that's dead. Yeah, exactly. Of course, of course. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. I like, don't that's, say that about it, my really. mum or my dad mm. or my yeah. dog or my cat. Sure. Uh, that's it, really. And I, I think ultimately yeah. it comes down to the, yeah, like, absolutely, you're right. It's about that person's respect for the, in a way, the um, the person's relationship to that person. Definitely. Um, mm. But really, and, and what that person or people did, um, as well as worth remembering for everybody, for humanity. Okay, um, it's <laughs> Huh? In the rest right, Jimmy, it's Jimmy Savile. <clears throat> yeah, but I don't think respect the dead is used in that context of a it was known in that paedophile and necrophilia. They said respect the dead. Well, they, well, there was some people like still like yeah, throwing respect on his name. It's like, yeah, that's just stupid. I mean, I, obviously, like there's contention and conflict that comes from this. Like people are like you know yeah. you need to respect the dead. I mean, obviously, particularly remember we had Remembrance Sunday uh, last week, mm -hmm. um, yeah. and uh, that is. It, I when I was sort of sixteen, seventeen, I was wandering through Bristol, funnily enough, with some mates and one of my friends, who's he's a very smart guy, very um, enlightened guy, um, and well, at the time was what I thought of him anyway. And somebody was there collecting for like help for heroes, and they were just like, "Oh, would you like to help, like help the heroes or something like that?" And he literally just said, "Like, I don't think they're heroes." And I was just like, "That is a." very bold statement to make right. at 17 and yeah. like to a person that's probably not acting in a way that's nefarious you know they're not probably maliciously hostile, gathering but it did make me think at the time i was just like now it is worth questioning yeah right. soldiers you know aren't heroes like a lot of the time the it's because people are really hurting that they've lost someone is 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 what sucks so bad about that and the sad thing is that by making them heroes, essentially we're telling more people like a lie almost like that they're, they're, you know, rather than. I guess so, but they, they, they stood up to the plate when they, I mean, they may not. Have the problem is exactly. And, and sure, so the, so like... the intentions of soldiers, I'm sure. Yeah, exactly. Are like positive things They they yeah. want to do, you know, they want to stand up for, yeah, the rights and the the ideas of their country and, and they want to perhaps, well, that's the idea, right? You, you yeah. bring democracy to countries, you do things like that. I think the problem is ultimately that like that is not what they end up getting used for a lot of the time by politicians ultimately. Yeah, um, that's the political thing. I think the more... Yeah, like, yeah. In that instance, like, mm -hmm. there will be no need to disrespect them, right? Exactly, exactly, exactly. And like you say, it's just about respecting people in general. Yeah. Everybody should respect each other um, unless given a reason not to. I mean, the, the, other, the other problem with the sort of respecting each other is, you know, again, walking through central Bristol from the gym to my flat, you get accosted by people that you don't want to talk to, you know, and, and you feel a bit like... I'm sorry about that, man. Sorry, I'm yeah, yeah. Walking past, I just want <laughs> to say hi. But I mean, like, you know, people like who want to sign you up to some charity thing, people yeah. who want to take, you know, they want money from you because they're homeless people, you know, this, this, that and the other. 
and and sometimes just crazy people and sometimes just you know people who are drunk as hell and and you you wish that when you walk through there you wouldn't be talked to or engaged with because you'd hope that they respect your space and respect your privacy but they don't so you equally i think need to be able to judge or respond to something it, this is the problem with yeah the the mutual respect thing i don't think everyone practices it honestly oh, of course I, I i think, I think that, it's, that it's a good, uh, good, good it's thing good to aim for, for to treat people the way you want to be treated right yeah exactly so you know there will be rare instances where you're treated mm -hmm. like shit and it's just like well you just leave, leave that situation feeling shit and you're just like well I'm not going to exactly. like that. So yeah, yeah, we'll yeah. Put that to one side, and yeah. But in terms of yeah, respecting the dead, I think yeah, like you say, just I'd respect them. That's the how you should deal with people mm. today being accosted. Living, mm. well, you got a help for heroes guy coming up to you, or like saying like, <laughs> if you got a minute to like just take the survey, you just lock eyes with them and say respect the dead, and then just walk away. Yeah. <laughs> I think that would work. <laughs> Or if you start asking yeah. them, or if you flip it on their head and say, well, actually, as long as you sign it to mine, and then like maybe come up with some crazy charity that you know maybe is for horrible atrocities, like funding war on you know mm -hmm. nuclear war on poor countries. You say, well, Christ, I'll sign yeah. to yours if you sign it to it's mine. Deep. You bring out like uh, you know always have a, a spread like a little sheet on you, mm -hmm. whip it out, and then they won't want to engage with you. You can move on, or you can just look down at the ground and kind of just make sure your headphones are in and kind of like or like maybe. <laughs> Maybe, oh, I've got a phone call. I've got a phone call. Sorry, so, sorry, sorry. I can see your phone. It's locked. Um, <laughs> it's locked. Yeah, yeah, it's that, it is you locked, say that the phone call thing. I literally had a guy start talking to me when we were filming that video when we were looking for those buses that had yes. our faces on oh, yeah, them. Yeah. And my scooter broke halfway around, like looking around Bristol. Oh, yeah. And so I'm ringing you guys, and I'm like, yeah, guys, uh, the scooter's broke. And uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm like mid conversation. And then this guy just goes, what do you think of them then? And I'm just like, what? I'm, I'm like, sorry, one sec. He's like, yeah, they good at them. Are they all right? And I'm like, I just, I could not believe this guy was just straight scoop, up engaging right? with me. And he was kind of this slightly eccentric sort of dude in his like 70s or something that had been rolling around on this like bicycle that had like streamers on it or something like that. Like it, he wasn't being like offensive or aggressive. I was just a bit like, Fuck me. I'm sorry. I'm on the phone. I'm trying to talk to someone. Like, I'm not trying to be a yeah. dick here, but you're just talking to me whilst I'm trying to hear what someone I need to talk to is saying. I and feel in like those that's situations. Quite rare in the UK, though. Yeah. Well, See, America, not to me, apparently. In America, it's, it's rife. Like, as people will oh, just yeah, talk to anyone yeah. openly, they'll talk yeah, to anything definitely. and just like, different you know, cultures, yeah. go, yeah. hey, I like your jacket. And it's like, oh, right. Okay, cool. Like, <laughs> I don't think anyone's ever bothered to like stop you in the street to say something like that. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, in the UK, not so much. You know, it's a little bit often. more than I've walked a lot with a dog. Some people, oh, yeah, the dog, the dog is like an like in about the dog, right? Yeah, yeah, but otherwise, yes, I've not had the. Have you noticed doggers? Other do you mean other doggers? Other doggers, yeah. of course. Can I even get next? I know it's my turn. <laughs> Wait, Ross turn. looks around. Just scroll fuck free off. use on me and fuck off. <laughs> just fuck off. Yeah, just get the lipstick out. <laughs> Doodle on my ass. I'm busy. <laughs> I was just going to say how. Uh, I mean, it's totally irrelevant now. That's really taking a turn. <laughs> but how? Uh, how often you have like a delivery or Uber Eats rider? Uh, deliver food whilst they're on the phone. It's like they're on the phone oh, so often, yeah. they're just chatting away. Or but like yeah. Uber riders as well, just lot, like yeah. full blown conversations. Like I guess that's like to oh. mitigate boredom or something. Yeah, but, but like, yeah. In America where we all it's like Discord like though, isn't it? We spend our who, evenings on Discord. Yeah, there was a guy who had a, had an open call with his wife, I think, and there was like a baby crying, and they had an argument. <laughs> yeah, they well, had I, an do, argument. Do you remember that? We were just like yeah. we were just quietly sat in the Uber. And like yeah, he's just had, he just had open call, and I think it was in a different language. To be honest, I don't, yeah. I don't know what the, Spanish. Maybe I think he was speaking. Do you yeah. remember that? I was in yeah. uh, when we went to the. That was the time you threw up into the fountain. This my reference point. To, I think I remember that as well. There. Yeah, but it was around that time that we, yeah we had a, also a really crazy sketchy Uber driver. Just that was the one that you had to like. And, you had to like stop. It, you know, watch had, out! You're rolling back or something I, like that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, wait, 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 wait! You're rolling back. He's like, oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> We're gonna die in this car. We're gonna die in this car. I this fucking hate that. I'm gonna have to hold the wheel. Oh. I hate when the they're wheel. so fucking vacant, like yeah. like less vacant than you'd be. It's like, look, man, I get it. We all like, we're all pretty vacant driving sometimes, especially when we've been doing it for a long time that day. 
But like when you're just like, man, you're rolling backwards oh, through a significant his amount of times. Huh? That was it. I pulled his handbrake because he we were on a on a hill and he yeah. was running back. Yeah, and, and there was like oh, there's a car behind God. us. I had to pull the handbrake. <laughs> <laughs> that's nuts. Yeah. Well, anyway, so, uh, I think that's all we got time for today. We're already yeah, way is, over. Yeah, we'll have to we'll have to use those news stories for next time. Indeed. Well, I hope you enjoyed our episode today, episode seventy six. Uh, the same year, 1976, when One Flew Over the Cuckoo Nest came out. And Taxi Driver. Oh, that's, that's great. So- <laughs> that's a nice little bit of trivia. There you go, a bit of trivia. Uh, <laughs> random. <laughs> if no you want to support us and have cool facts like that, I put it on the fact of hypothetical. I was like, what happened in 76 of episode 76? And I put that on right. there. So if you want little All nuggets right. of facts like that, high oh, value yeah. Patreon. I have films. You also get an ad-free version of the podcast. So thanks everyone for for checking that out. Also, if you'd like to make a fingle like Bog Boy, who made our fingle today, oh, nice. you can go to hatchethatfilms dot com. Thank you. Check the email out. Um, well, that's good. Bunty chunks came out of their mum in seventy six. That's well, good. Nice Bunty, from chunks. Bunty chunks. That's really nice. Oh really nice. damn it! What's anyway, happening in seventy eight. That's what we we need to find out next time, right? Well, 77, Ross. So only you get hotter over the next... Oh, 77, of course. Yeah. 77, of course, follows 76. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, you go up in twos. Ross counts I'm, twos. 78. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm, I'm trying to think of what's in 78, but I just can't get there. I use base two. <laughs> it's when Every... was Star Wars out? <laughs> <laughs> that is 77. Uh, anyway. All right. We'll see you all next week for another episode of Hand Chat. Stay safe out there. Stay sexy. Bye.